Iris, however, has, I think, uh, researched his siege mode. If not, he's going to research it now. And obviously, he's going to be researching Spider Mines next to counter those Dark Templar. I'm sure he's got to know that Nalra might take advantage of this opportunity to produce some Dark Templar. But uh, I if Iris doesn't get some defenses up for that in time, it's going to hurt him in a, in a big way. And Iris actually has not gone for siege tech. He's gone for Spider Mines first, obviously, considering keeping in mind the fact that Nalra might actually have brought. I uh, might be producing Dark Templar, but I don't think that's going to bother Nal Ra. He's going to be happy to keep Iris on the defensive, keep Iris in his main for as long as possible, because what that's going to mean is that uh, he's going to get a severe economic advantage. Iris not able to build that command center. So Nal Ra this time, on this occasion, going for the right build, Nal Ra building, he might be looking to build a proxy there. It suggests to me that that pile on there suggests to me that Nal Ra might be building a proxy robotics facility to go for a Dark Templar job. And now Iris is going to forage, for, forage out with those vultures, and this is critical for Iris here. And Iris trying to trap those dragoons with those spider mines, and uh, one of the dragoons is actually going to attack. Two of the Dragoons are now in trouble here because he's lost all of his Dragoons and Iris is not going to be able to push out. Nara has got Dark Templar coming out though. He's got that robotics facility built. But uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of the problem was. Perhaps it was just a proxy. And, and Nara building a couple more gateways. He does have the Dark Templar out to help him defend with his Dragoons. Uh, Iris pushing forth with Nara now. Uh, uh, unfortunately for Nara, does not have anything to counter those spider mines either. And if those vultures uh, get in and, and plant those spider mines, then Nara is going to be in bitter trouble. And Nara trying to take out those spider mines before they get planted. He managed to kill out one of them. One of the spider mines is definitely going to survive. And, okay, brilliant by uh, Nara. He manages to hold the defense. But now he's in huge trouble because Iris is now pushing forth. He's got a couple of siege tanks as well as vultures. But the fact of the matter is that he has absolutely nothing to detect those Dark Templars. And one of the Dark Templars is getting through towards Iris. Big. I'm not sure if he's planted any spider mines. I think he's assuming that Nalra is going to be concentrating all of his defenses against Iris's push. And uh, Nalra is using that, but he's managed to send one Dark Templar. He spared one Dark Templar that is heading towards Iris' base. That Dark Templar has taken damage from one spider mine. There's another one in the middle there that's going to finish that Dark Templar off. But uh, Nalra and Nalra now. But the key here for Nalra is that while Iris is pushing, Iris is going to try and establish some kind of offensive, some kind of contain on Alra, and, and, and Alra, uh, Iris trying to push through one of those uh, cannons they're taken out, and Iris has found a way through that, uh, but uh, those vultures are now amongst Alra's probes, but uh, Alra is going to be able to take down those units. Those two spider mines are critical. Alra now cannot send those Dark Templar in to help his probes. He cannot send those Dark Templar in, because if he sends the Dark Templar in, he'll just lure the spider mine right into all of his probes. Those probes actually kill off that vulture. That vulture was trapped in that corner there. So Nalra managed to kill that vulture off with the probes. Nalra producing, exclusively producing Dark Templar. Nalra now starting up another expansion at the 3 o'clock natural. So uh, Iris in a huge world of trouble because Iris hasn't been able to get that expansion up. Nara definitely got the economic advantage. Iris committed all of his forces to that attack and wasn't really able, be able, to, uh, able to do too much damage. And Nara now going with the drop. He's got that shuttle there. Iris has committed all of his forces to Nara's main. And looks like Nara is going to level the series. In my opinion, Nara should be able to deliver the killing blow here because Iris has focused all of his units uh, and, and kept sending all of his units into, our, uh, into Nara's uh, expansion to try and take that expansion. And Nara has been forced to pull those probes away by the virtue of those vultures. So Iris committing himself to that attack but now, now Iris is going to be in huge trouble because he's got nothing, no detection in his main. All of his vultures are rallied into Nalra's expo and Iris has nowhere to send those guys. And Ar Nalra has dropped those Dark Templar. Uh, Iris does have scan though. Okay, Iris does have scan. He got that company and he has scan. And he's managed to take out one of the Dark Templar. The other Dark Templar is trying to take that and the, the, unfortunately for Nara, his Dark Templar get taken out, but Iris has lost all of his units, he's used up that scan, I don't think that Comsat station has enough resources for that scan, and even if it did, it wouldn't matter, because Nala does have a shuttle there. He didn't micro that shuttle very well, though, he could have saved those Dark Templar, because uh, Iris obviously has no anti-air, uh, and, and Nala now wrecking havoc to Iris' economy, Iris is in huge trouble, he's got no uh, mana for Comsat scans, uh, and that Dark Templar, uh, and, and Iris' economy is in tatters, he cannot mine at all, and that Comsat station is coming under fire from that lone Dark Templar, hero Dark Templar of Nala's, uh, Iris trying to force to try and repair that comps station now uh, and Iris using the opportunity so Iris really doing everything he can using the opportunity to plant a couple more spider mines down he's lost a couple more SCVs though and he's not mining critically Iris is not mining he doesn't have an expansion so he is not mining at all right now and this is all giving Nalra a fast and furious advantage in this game Nalra having two expansions to Iris is none uh, and I'm sure Nalra by now has taken uh, although we haven't seen it Iris actually managed to save the comps station so he got enough uh, energy to get that scan up uh, and managed to take out that last Dark Templar so a uh, brilliant play by uh, Iris, uh, but uh, Nalra actually, actually Nalra I think still has a Dark Templar, and Nalra has got that Dark Templar that's been sitting there for some time, now Iris has built that expansion in his main, he was forced to build in his main because Nalra had that uh, Dark Templar sitting at that expansion to counter Iris, and Nalra has now got the observers, and Nalra with the economic advantage, and I'm sure he's enough gateways to pump out those Dragoons, I don't think Iris is going to stand a chance, and uh, Iris is not going to be able to put that command center down, because that Dark Templar is sitting right on top of that uh, command center, and, and, and uh, he should be able to prevent Iris from actually putting that command center down, that's going to hurt uh, Iris yet again, and Iris unable to plant that command center, he's going to have to wait for another Comsat scan to take out that Dark Templar, so, uh, and Nalra is now pushing out, and I do believe Nalra is going to be able to close the game out here versus Iris, so Nalra revel levels the series at 1-1, brilliant play by Nalra, uh, and really exciting play by him here. The definitely the Dragoon use early on, his micro was spot on. Iris did everything right, everything he could with his um 
Siege tanks and using the SCVs to support it, but unfortunately Nalra's micro and strategy was too good, and Nalra going for the two gate build, taking advantage. Iris going for the two factories, trying to tech up first, not producing too many units early on, being a little bit overconfident, despite the fact that he wasn't able to scout Nalra, and that was the critical point where Nalra cleverly used that pylon to block the entrance into his base to stop uh, Iris from getting in and getting in the scout. And now Iris is in, in, in deep trouble. He's, he sent those four vultures into Nalra's main, but I don't think Nalra will mind that. He's not going to lose too many probes. He has got some defenses. He's got more units pouring out as well, and he's got his observer. So he's not going to mind that too much, but uh, he's got nothing. He's got no siege tanks at all right now because he was so cut off from resources. Remember, for a significant period of time in this game, Iris was not mining anything, certainly not getting any gas, so he's been forced to rely on vultures. He's got no siege tanks, and that command center is going to go down. Iris has to GG. He cannot take this game. This is going to go to game three. So brilliant play by Nal Rad, showing some of the flashes of his original brilliance. The only mistake really he made was early on when he, he made a micro mistake, and now Nal Rad's got the surround on those factories, so Iris' units are going to die as they pop out. Iris forced to bring out the SCVs as well as the vultures. This is too little, too late. Now has got too many units, he's just going to micro them around and avoid the vultures, and Iris just really, just too many Dragoons there, and there's nothing Iris can do, but uh, Iris obviously stoic, the stoic, always a stoic warrior, refusing to give in, and he finally GG's, so brilliant pay play by Nalra, he's earned himself that victory, and earned himself a uh, final in the best of three matchup, he's earned himself a tiebreaker, so uh, uh, that was a great game guys, good, good to see Nalra back in form, and I'll be back with the final of the three.